Hey guys, what's going on? This is Always back with another tutorial. So this is my tutorial about Windows 10. So I'm going to show you how you can opt optimize your Windows 10 for the best performance. So the first thing what I want you to do is right click on your start menu and click on system. And then go to your advanced setting, go to advanced tab and then click on setting. Here you got few options here. So if the first one is let Windows choose what's the best for the computer. Adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance. So you can select that for the best performance. What it's going to do, it's going to disable some visual effects such as animation in a taskbar, enable peak, fade or slide windows into it. So this is kind of good thing if you want your PC to run your program faster. But I want to do that because I've got pretty strong computer as you can see I've got like 16 gig of RAM so that's not a problem for me but you can just customize it from here. And apply, click OK. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to look at is our taskbar. So right click here, go to your taskbar. And here you see all the processes going on for your PC. So here, if you find any application, let's say I've got Snagit, right? So I'm not using that Snagit editor, but the performance is still going on. So you can select that and end task. It's going to help you to improve performance for your Windows. The next go to your performance. Here you can see your PC performance, your memory performance, disk performance, all that stuff. So here, the most important option you got to do here is go to your startup. And as you know that Windows gets slower while it gets older so that's the reason when I restart my computer it doesn't get restarted as fast as it's used to so here you can see your startup impact of the application so I've got this what I don't know what is is um, it's a brother soft industry software which is enabled so it's gonna run by itself when I restart my computer so if I don't know about it uh, it's gonna serve it so I can just click on it and disable it but I want to leave it right now and let's find out some more applications so iTunes helper so I don't want it to start by itself right so I'm gonna click here and click on disable it's going to disable that service for me so it's gonna help to restart my computer faster okay so the next thing what we're going to do here click here and type disk cleanup right so this is the option this is kind of service available in Windows 10 so I want to select my C where I install my Windows so I'm gonna click OK so it's gonna find all the garbage available in your Windows so here I've got my startup log files downloaded program files temporary internet files which is like just the garbage and recycle bin, temporary files, all that stuff here. So I'm gonna click OK. It's gonna clean up those files, but I wanna go to clean up system files. Clean up system files, click on that, click OK, and it's gonna give you some more option. Okay, so now it's basically cleaning up my system files. It's cleaning up device, drivers, packages, and I find it very useful every time I clean up my PC. In like a week so it's get a bit faster so it's a good idea to keep cleaning up your PC at least once a week it doesn't take that long if you leave your windows for a while and don't clean up then the first time it's going to take a while so once it's done then I will go to the next step okay now so it this is the dialog box I would see after it does processing okay so this cleanup I've got all the same options here but what you want to do is click on more option tab and here we got a system restore and shadow copies of the windows well I recommend that you clean this up as well so what it does it's in some edition of windows the disk might include file shadow copies and all the windows so you just clean up okay so it's gonna take a while it does a really good job once you clean up your computer gets really faster I find it very useful so I'm just gonna clean up I'm gonna leave it now so click OK. It's gonna delete start all. Um, it's gonna start deleting all the files. Okay. So the next thing what I wanna go is type apps and features. And in the settings, you will find all your application installed in your PC. So we download and install a lot of application into our computer, and we forget about it if we don't need them anymore. So 
what I want you to do here find the application you don't need on a daily basics or you don't need them anymore in your computer so just find them and get rid of them so just let's say I don't want this Camtasia Studio or I don't want this Cinema 4D right I've actually forgot about it I click and uninstall you can go to your control panel to uninstall these applications but this is a really good feature in Windows 10 so it's quite easier okay so the next thing what we're going to do talk about is a malware application and antivirus so go to my task manager and here you can see that how much my antivirus is using my PC so I've got this um, antivirus called a byte defender antivirus so right now it's using only 0.1% so it's kinda good antivirus well I was using C before and I've used um, Norton as well they use a lot of performance they they actually use your PC at least 10 percent so you gotta find out that which net um, antivirus suits you the best so they and make sure that they don't use your performance they don't use your PC at the background so I would highly recommend to get this um, bit defender antivirus it's totally free and it works very well it's quite removed and when I installed it it removed a lot of viruses and it found a lot of viruses from my PC so the next application you must install in your PC is called malware so malware is really common nowadays you get those from your browser if you go to any fake up um, website you might get the malware attack to your PC so it's good idea that there's a lot of malware application out there just try them out and find what is the best for you the next thing one I want to talk about is power so right click if you're on a laptop you will see this battery icon here if not then you can just search for power optimization okay um, I think it's power settings yep power and sleep setting click on it and then here you're gonna click on advanced power setting so here I've got few options here right so I've got my balanced right now it's now my power um, consumption plan is on balance right now so if you wanna make it high performance it will run faster so let's say if I'm using my charging cable and I'm currently charging my PC or laptop so it's a good idea that keep it on performance so you get the most out of your PC if you're using just if you're using your laptop on a battery so you can keep that as a balanced so here I've got a few more options here power saver as well if you want um, if you're using your PC for like just basic stuff so you can keep that as a power saver it's a good idea to look up it and then you can use your whatever it best suits for you okay alright so these are pretty much my tips for you to optimize Windows PC and thanks for watching if there is any question let me know in